Here we're talking about data collection on your shop floor in the warehouse for distribution needs. We'll run through and receive a purchase order. We'll pick and pack some orders. We'll do an inventory lookup. We'll go over the pick and pack manager and then wrap up with some inventory transfers. Starting off with a purchase order, you can simply manually punch in the order that you're receiving from. You can also select from our list here. Simply highlight the list that you want. You can click on Receive All to pull in your quantity or punch in the actual quantity that you're receiving. This creates a goods receipt in the background for us. It's just that easy to do. It's also very simple to come in and do some shipping and picking and packing. We can go from our pick list or sales order or from an invoice. Again, simply select the list that you're picking. Come in and uh, pick all once you've completed it and then save that into the system so that we can create the delivery note on that. That shows up here in the Pick and Pack Manager. You can see what's still open to be picked. We've picked everything that was released. Here are the items that we have picked, and now we just need to go out and, and create the delivery note on those. We can do an inventory lookup. In this example, we can pull up all of our inventory items and see what we have on location by the item code and the name and the warehouse. So you can see what's on hand in each zone. You can filter this so that you're looking at a group of items or a particular item, and you can scan an item multiple ways you can get at that information. Moving on down to our inventory, we can do a bin to bin transfer of an item. Let's go ahead and select a bin. Move a few of these from bin location A1 over to A2. It's just that easy. You can do the same thing for an inventory transfer. We can move an item pick an item here from one warehouse to another warehouse we can pull it from one bin and send it to the other bin in the other warehouse in this case we'll simply come over and move it from the general warehouse to our New York warehouse very simple to get that inventory process in the system and then we can also do a cycle count come over and uh, punch in the items that have been counted update that and uh, that will be saved into the system and be ready for you to make an inventory adjustment and post to the GLs. It's just that easy to come in SAP with the data collection station and manage your inventory transactions right on the warehouse floor. Very simple, very easy, and that's what makes it so powerful.